So in business, the question on everyone's mind is, can I use big data in the cloud and tools like Excel and Power BI to make informed decisions? But right here, right now in Barcelona, the question on everyone's mind is, who's going to win El Clasico this evening? A historic match between Real Madrid and FC Barcelona, the matchmakers and media think Madrid has an advantage. I'm going to predict the outcomes using Excel and Power BI and compare that against what the people here think. Barcelona. And Madrid. I support Madrid always. 2-4. Uh, 2-4, so yes. that will be the score. Messi and Neymar. What do you, you think the score will be 2-0 at the end? 2-0. 2 Yeah. What about Ronaldo? No, Ronaldo no. No, but he's got good hair. <laughs> <laughs> do you watch the soccer game tonight? Yes, who do you Who do you think will win? Uh, Barcelona, I believe. Barcelona, what, who do you think will score first? Messi, of course. Messi, of course. What will the final score be? 3-2. Uh, so are you going to watch the game tonight? Yes, Barcelona, 2, Madrid, 0. Who do you uh, think will win? Real. Ma Real Madrid. 2-0. Uh, 2-0. Uh, and Ronaldo, you think, will score first? Yes, yes. No, yes. Messi. No, Messi. Messi. <laughs> I think Barcelona's going to win because they're like the best ever. Do you think the same? Barcelona, yeah. Barcelona, why? I love Barcelona. Always loved it. But I would feel that Barcelona are not as strong as they were a couple of years ago. And I feel that Madrid have that age and I would expect them to win. Why do you think Barcelona's going to win? Barcelona and they go Neymar. What do you think of Messi? No, Neymar Messi is the best. Okay, who's your favorite player? Messi. Messi, he's yeah. pretty good, isn't he? Yeah, he is. What do you think of Neymar? He's okay, I like him too. He's okay. How about you? Who do you think will win? Barcelona. Barcelona? Barcelona. Yay! <laughs> All right, so we've heard from the media, we've also heard from the fans. A lot of emotion there, people citing players like Neymar and Ronaldo in terms of favorites. Let's have a look at what the data tells us. So I've got Excel here and I've imported all of the El Clasico matches since 2007 until present. And you can't see a lot there in that data itself, but I've also in included the external forces, things like temperature, things like humidity, and even to see whether or not things like moon phase uh, will have any impact on the, on the games and the outcomes themselves. Now beyond all this, what I've done is also created a power map using all of that data. So using the wins and loss data and using temperature data in this case. And by looking at that, I can see one interesting trend here visually, which is whenever I see red on the map, it looks like there's an advantage for Madrid. So the, the redder these heat maps get in terms of game day temperature, see a bit of advantage. Madrid here is the red column, uh, Barcelona is the blue column. So let's see if that plays out anything in terms of our data. So what I've done is I've also taken this and imported this into Power BI. Now the great thing with Power BI is all I have to do is build my Excel file with the, with the model, simply drag and drop that into Power BI, and now anybody can view this data. They don't need to have Excel 2013 installed, they don't need to have the Power Query add in any of that, or a powerful machine like I have here. They can view that data simply from a browser, even from a Windows 8 app. So in my case, I've also added that to Q&A. So one of the cool things I can do with Q&A is through natural language query, have a look at some of the historical data. So if I have a look at, say, things like wins uh, by team, we'll see we've got 20 total wins. Wins by team, it looks like uh, FC Barcelona has 18 and Real Madrid 15. And I can do by location. And I can also say after 2010. So looking at the last four seasons. And here we see that Madrid's actually won pretty much the same number of games as Barcelona. And I didn't have to be a, a, a master in terms of query language to get all that. So basically any natural language query here wins by team by location after 2010. And I can also slice that in different visual ways in terms of how I want to look at that. So for example, I look at a clustered column chart. Again, beautiful visualizations that pretty much anybody can have a look at. What I want to show here is the Power BI model for the actual game outcome. So I have here wins and losses. Again, looking from 2010 onwards, it's pretty much a dead even, uh, it's a dead even set of, of matches that we've had. If we look at all the locations between Barcelona, Madrid, and Valencia for the championships games, We've had seven wins for Barcelona, seven for Madrid, six draws, so dead even in terms of those two teams. I can also look at things like goals by player because we heard a lot on the street of, from people like Neymar and, and Ronaldo, but it looks like really Messi has had a great few years. He's had 14 goals since 2010. That's actually more than Ronaldo's had since 2010 with 12. 
So, been a great rivalry, it looks like, between those two players. Neymar, who was mentioned, he's only had one goal, uh, but a player, a fan favorite, and he's also had a great year this year. Now, one of the things that a lot of people talk about is whether or not players are effective as they grow older. And one of the great visualizations we can have here is a timeline view to see how the players actually uh, rate over time. And here we have Ronaldo in the, in the red bubble and Messi in the blue bubble. And we can actually see things like even the rivalry pan out over time. So it looks like, in our case, Messi gets riled up every time Ronaldo scores and pretty much answers him with another score. And we see here Neymar, when he scores, he scores early on in the match, and that was in the last 2013 to 2014 season. So we'll see if that actually has any bearing on tonight's game. Now, let's have a look at our external factors because we saw that uh, with, with the power map, we could see that there was an impact of temperature on the actual game outcomes. So if I take here and I basically query down to the location equal Madrid, because we're playing in Madrid tonight, and I look at our max temperature, and remember our max temperature tonight is 27 degrees, so I'm gonna go with temperatures above 24. We see that in this case, Madrid has a clear advantage winning all three games with scores that are fairly high, two to one, three to two, and four to one. So it looks like Madrid has the upper hand in terms of hotter temperatures played on home team or home turf. So let's go ahead and look at our match day forecast, or our final view. So it looks like, based on historical El Clasico matches, uh, the most likely outcome of tonight's game will be 2-1 to one in favor of Madrid with temperature of 27 degrees and all the things that we were able to add into our model. So let's see how that, that prediction actually pans out. And I'm excited to check out whether Madrid can win with a score of 2-1. to one. Okay, so the game's about to start. We heard from the fans, they were mixed. The media reports that Madrid is favored right now. I can look on my phone and see the temperature right now in Madrid is 27 degrees Celsius. The humidity is about 52%. So these might all be factors in terms of the outcome of this game. Okay, so Neymar was the first to score about three minutes after the game started. For about 23 minutes in, statistically it shows that in the last 15 minutes of the half, people are more likely to score. So it could be that Messi is the next one to score, or it could be Ronaldo. Let's see. She got the timing right in the last 15 minutes of the first half. Ronaldo scored, now it's up to Messi to try to answer back according to the data. Okay, so Madrid just scored, it's 2-1 now. All right, so in about the 60th minute, Benzema scored. It's now 3-1 Madrid. All right, so we're almost at the 90th minute. It's still 3-1 Madrid. So there you have it. Madrid beat Barcelona three goals to one. Now we saw with Power BI that our predictions were a bit off, but the external factors like temperature may have played a role in the game, as well as external factors like going beyond the El Clasico data that we had in terms of momentum Madrid had going into the game and things like ball possession during the game. So while our predictions were pretty strong, we saw that Madrid in this case had the upper hand and other factors were at play.